Fond du Lac County infant death under investigation. Space heater causes fire in Manor to Walk. Nomination papers available for spring 2019 elections. These stories and more on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and welcome to Community News Review for Wednesday, December 19th, 2018. A five-month-old boy is dead, and investigators in Fond du Lac County are searching for answers. The Sheriff's Department says they got a 911 call shortly after 1 p.m. on Tuesday. When they got to the home on Mill Road in the town of Auburn, they found the child, Gerald Bob, unresponsive. The child was pronounced dead at the scene, and the Sheriff's Department and Medical Examiner's Office is still investigating. A space heater is what likely caused a fire at a home in Manitowoc County on Tuesday afternoon. Firefighters were called to the home on 25th Street around 4.30 and had the fire put out by 5. One cat died in the fire and fire officials are reminding people to test their smoke detectors. Make sure they are replaced according to the manufacturer's recommendations. One person was killed after a police chase in the town of Two Rivers on Sunday night. The Manitowoc County Sheriff's Office says a deputy tried stopping a car in the village of Michicot and the driver fled, heading north on State Highway 147 at nearly 100 miles per hour. He collided with a pickup truck at the intersection of Crystal Springs Road and the driver of the other vehicle died at the scene. The suspect was taken to a Green Bay hospital with serious injuries. The State Patrol and Department of Justice are assisting the county coroner's office with this investigation. An Eclair man will serve jail time after he was found guilty of his 16th OWI offense. Bradley Armstrong was found guilty on Friday of the offense after a verbal argument outside of a home. When police arrived, they found Armstrong had parked his car on the front lawn of the home, nearly hitting the building. Armstrong will serve four years in prison and three years of supervised release. That sentence will follow a three-year sentence he is currently serving for unrelated crimes committed in Barron County. Judge John Manny Deeds called Armstrong a dangerous person who needs to be off the streets to protect the public. The maximum sentence Armstrong could have received was 15 years in prison. The 63-year-old has had previous drunk driving convictions in Minnesota and Massachusetts as well. Court documents show that Green Bay Mayor Jim Schmidt is facing a civil suit filed against him by former alderman Guy Zima. Online documents show that Zima filed a suit on Monday, and that is also against the city of Green Bay. Green Bay City Attorney Vanessa Chavez and the city's and village's mutual insurance company. The suit is for an intentional tort, according to the court doc re records. It details several allegations of slander and defamation. In December 2017 television interview, Schmidt called Zima Green Bay's Harvey Weinstein, and reference to the Hollywood producer accused of sexual misconduct. The next day, Schmidt issued a statement admitting his comparison was a mistake. In an October 2017 email, Schmidt called Zima a psychopath and alleged that Zima was harassing employees and causing a hostile work environment. The lawsuit says Zima made an open records request for written complaints against him, but the city officials could not find any. In a September 2017 email, Schmidt called Zima a dotard in an August 2017 email. Schmidt said that he did not believe Zima to be mentally stable, and in an email to police chief Andrew Smith, Schmidt told the chief to be prepared to remove Zima from a meeting. 
The email came in the wake of an allegation from a recently married city employee that Zima asked her, are you like Kim Kardashian? Did you videotape the wedding night? According to a redacted document provided by the city, the employee described the conversation as uncomfortable and gross, and the employee tried to change the subject. However, she says Zima went on saying he saw Kardashian's sex tape multiple times. The lawsuit says that the report prepared by Chavez was not signed by the people making the accusations and therefore cannot be considered to be verified. The lawsuit also claims that the city did not take a statement from Zima to get his side of the story. The filing fee has also been paid according to court records. Governor-elect Tony Evers has announced his first picks for his new cabinet. At an event in Milwaukee, paired along with a visit with Big Brothers Big Sisters, Evers laid out his top advisors heading into his four-year office. The lists include a number of prominent Milwaukee area leaders. Notably, Evers is picking Natural Resources board member Preston Cole as his new DNR secretary and Discovery World CEO Joel Brennan as sec secretary of administration. Milwaukee film marketing chief Sarah Meany will take over at the Department of Tourism, replacing Secretary Stephanie Klett. There had been an effort by a number of groups, including some Democrats, to keep Klett in, tour in as Tourism Secretary. Rounding out the announcement was U.S. Marshal Kevin Carr as the Secretary of Corrections. Carr was a longtime Milwaukee County Sheriff's Deputy before moving over to the Marshal's office in 2010. EDF Renewables North America said earlier today it had formed a joint venture with oil and gas firm Royal Dutch Shell's PLC's New Energies division to co-develop a lease area for offshore and wind energy in New, York, New Jersey. The area spread over 183,000 acres and located off the coast of Atlantic City has the potential to produce about 2,500 megawatts of offshore wind energy, EDF said in a statement. The Trump administration is streamlining permits for offshore wind industry and carving out new areas for leasing to boost do domestic energy production and jobs. States like New Jersey, Massachusetts, and New York have also mandated utilities to produce offshore wind energy. And finally, nomination papers can be picked up and circulated in the city of Sheboygan for the spring 2019 election. Last year, the city went from 16 council members down to 10, and the elders selected in the odd-numbered districts were elected to one-year terms. City Administrator Daryl Hofflin says nomination papers are available. If you circulate them, you need to have at least 20 signatures, but less than 40, and have the papers returned to the city clerk's office by January 2nd, 2019. In addition to the council seats, the city clerk, city attorney, and municipal court judge are up for election this year. And that is all we have for this week. Join me again after the holidays for another recap of our local news. From all of us at Community News Review, happy holidays. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.